Now you'll be adding in some insects into your collage. To do so, you are going to be using these patterned papers, okay? Um, so you'll pick one that you like, pick a particular area, and then using a black oil pastel, you are going to draw the shapes of the insect. So all insects have a head, okay? And then they have a thorax, okay, which is slightly bigger, okay? And then they have the abdomen. And depending upon the shape of your creature, okay, um, it'll be a, a different shape. Um, if there are other parts, um, maybe mine's going to be a beetle with uh, some wing parts. But I'm going to stop there. I'm not adding any legs at this point, okay, or antennas, okay? Um, because it would be pretty darn tricky to cut this, um, those legs out, okay? So I'm just drawing the head, thorax, and the abdomen, okay? And if there's a, a shell, you can draw the, the parts of it. I'm uh, doing a bubble cut, okay? Placing this paper to the side, and then I'm going to cut in detail, okay? Right just to the outside of my black oil pastel line, okay? It be helpful to make that line nice and thick when you draw it for a nice bold outline. So very carefully cutting around it. And then you will place it onto your uh, collage, okay? So choose a nice place for it, decide where it might go. Is it crawling on a leaf? Is it underneath? I kind of like it right there. And then once you're happy with the placement of it, you're going to glue it down, okay? Dot, dot, not a lot, okay? Just a small amount of glue. You definitely don't want it to squeeze out the sides. It's gonna get all sticky and slimy, making this next part difficult, which is drawing the legs, okay? Now, all the legs of our uh, insects come out of this middle section called the, the thorax, okay? And all insects, as we've noticed, they have six legs. So that's three on one side, okay? And three on the other, okay? Just like that. And then if you want to add other fun parts, like if yours has like some pinchers or it has some antennas, um, you can do those. And my insect is finished, okay? Uh, so have fun with the shapes. I noticed this was a great, a nice long shape. And, and for one, I chose to use this as a dragon fly body, okay? So there's my head, here's a, uh, my thorax and then i could use this long section for uh the abdomen okay and then you're cutting them out okay so here i go i can place it on there i chose to use the uh extra white paper that was around it um plenty of scrap uh to cut out some dragonfly wings and so uh again picking a placement once you have all those pieces on there uh you're getting to glue it down so again uh dot dot not a lot this is such a small one i don't need to outline it just drawing a, a line of it just like that and gluing it down and you know what maybe for my dragonfly since dragonflies fly i won't glue the entire wing uh, section down okay but make sure to do a good job of gluing um, and then I could simply go back and I can draw antennas um, any of those parts so um, you are drawing the segments of your uh, creatures using those oil pastels gluing it down and then uh, adding any other last parts have fun